Assalamu alaikum foodies. Today we are making one of my favorite cakes, cinnamon coffee cake. It has a nice crunchy streusel top, soft and tender crumb, and a delectable cinnamon filling. So let's jump to the recipe. Start with preparing pan. I have taken here approximately 11 inches bundt pan. You can use round or a square pan also of around 9 to 10 inches. Coat with non-stick spray and dust 1 tablespoon of all-purpose flour and then tap to spread all over the pan and set aside. This coffee cake has three main components. One, streusel topping, cinnamon filling and cake batter. So let's start with streusel topping. Take 80 grams of self-raising flour and same amount of brown sugar. To that, I'm adding 1 teaspoon of cinnamon powder and 60 grams of melted butter. As you can see, I'm measuring my ingredients on kitchen scale. Why not in cups? Because this gives me precise measurements each and every time and subsequently the results. Same look and same taste each and every time. So if you love baking, do buy a scale, it's a savior literally. Mix everything up until it looks like this and then set aside. Next, chop some walnuts for filling and topping and set aside. Half cup of black raisins. If you don't have black raisins, no problem, you can use golden ones also. It's your personal choice. Soak them in water and set aside. Let's start with cake batter. Take 225 grams of room temperature butter. Add 200 grams of granulated sugar. And beat till it's light and creamy. After one or two minutes, stop, scrape sides and start beating again. After three or four minutes of beating, it would look like this. Color has changed and it became more creamy. Scrape sides and now start adding eggs. I have taken three eggs room temperature, but I'm gonna add them one by one. Why? Because if you add all eggs at once, your mixture will separate. So add one egg, beat for a minute and when you see it's nicely mixed, then stop, scrape sides and then add another one. Sometimes even if you are adding eggs one by one but still your mixture curdles, especially when you are making fruit or butter cakes, this happens because of egg temperature. If they are not at room temperature and you are adding directly from fridge, then the batter will definitely separate. Because when you add a cold egg, all fat particles in the batter will start clumping together again. That's why whenever you are making cake, your all ingredients should be at room temperature. In that way, you would have a perfect emulsion of the batter. All eggs are incorporated, now let's move to dry ingredients. Measure 280 grams of cake flour, 2.5 level teaspoons of baking powder, 1 fourth teaspoon of salt, mix it all. Now divide this flour mixture into 3 portions. Sift first portion over the batter. And beat until just combined. Scrape down this flour from the sides. Next measure 245 grams of sour cream or you can also use yogurt and add half of it into the batter and alternate it with flour to have good emulsion. 
beat for a minute and when you feel that it's nicely combined, then stop. Now add second portion of flour and beat until just incorporated, just like earlier. Now add 1 teaspoon of vanilla essence and last quantity of sour cream. Beat until just combined. Now add last quantity of flour. Scrape sides and our batter is ready. Now let's move to the filling. 90 grams of light brown sugar and 90 grams of dark brown sugar. 2 teaspoons of cinnamon powder and that's it. So now all our components are ready so let's assemble the cake. First add half of the batter into the pan. Spread evenly on the base. Now sprinkle the brown sugar and cinnamon filling which we have made earlier, only two third of it. Next add chopped walnuts, reserve one tablespoon for topping also and raisins. Now sprinkle the last quantity of the filling which we have reserved before so that these nuts also get coating of the filling. Now spread rest of the batter over the top. Just like before, spread evenly. Now sprinkle the streusel topping which we have made in the beginning. Cover all the top nicely and evenly. Sprinkle those reserved nuts. Isn't it looking so pretty? Next, take a skewer and loosely swirl around so that all nuts and toppings stick together to the batter. Like so. Now, bake it in preheated oven at 175 degrees Celsius for about 40 to 45 minutes. It may take longer, depends on your oven, but when you insert a skewer and it comes out clean, that means it's perfectly done. Let it cool at a cooling rack and when it's completely cooled down, then run a knife around the pan to loosen up the sides. And then first invert on a plate and then to a platter. Now dredge with icing sugar before serving, but if you don't have it, then you can serve straight away also. How pretty. Time of testing. The streusel top has a wonderful crunch. And look at the filling from inside. It's delectable. As the name suggests, it's a coffee cake, so serve it with a cup of coffee. No doubt, a perfect treat with coffee. Literally, it's hard to resist. A nice tender crumb with a gooey cinnamon filling inside. It's absolutely delicious. Do try this recipe and enjoy with your family and friends. And share your feedback in comments. If you like today's recipe, do give a thumbs up and share with others too. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more recipes. See you again with another wonderful recipe. Take care. Bye-bye.